वेलकम बैक टू टेन स्लेड इन्फो ड्यूरिंग फेब टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वेन थ्री बिलियन यू एस डॉलर डील टू परचेज थर्टी जनरल एटोमिक्स ड्रोन्स केम अप इट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी साइन बाई द एंड ऑफ द सेम ईयर बट इट नेवर वेंट अ हेड और मेड एनी गुड प्रोग्रेस आउट ऑफ थर्टी ड्रोन्स विच वुड बी प्रोक्योर्ड टेन वुड गो फॉर द इंडियन आर्मी टेन फॉर द इंडियन एयरफोर्स एंड टेन फॉर द इंडियन नेवी सींग द डिले इन प्रोक्योरमेंट ऑफ दीज ड्रोन्स इन नवंबर टू the indian army began operating two least mq9b sea guardians from naval air station rajali located in tamil nadu on 27th february 2022 it was reported that the procurement for the 30 armed predator b drones is in the advanced stage with india reportedly providing good feedback on the sea guardians already on lease with the indian navy As per the recent update it looks like India and General Atomics have completed advanced level of talks and the procurement of 30 MQ9B remotely piloted aircraft would very soon be processed The actual hesitation for taking this deal forward was due to the cost which seems to be too high for 30 drones If you see the cost of each drone it seems to be higher than the price of Tejas Mark 1A fighter It is said that out of 30 MQ9B 12 would be directly imported from the United States and the remaining 18 would be locally assembled in India. Another good thing which is expected to happen is to get access to some of the vital technologies like Lynx multi-mode radar that can be used by DRDO for their Thapas and high altitude long endurance class unmanned aerial vehicles that are under development. So let's expect at least now these general atomics unmanned aerial vehicles are procured without more delay and they get to serve India's three defense forces. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainsley Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.